Hey there Gundam fans, Joshua Gundamu here again with another Gundam MSIA review. But before we get to the review, I thought I'd take this opportunity to show off a set that I am in the process of filming right this moment for a Gundam Father of Peace. This is one of our stop motion animation sets with uh, new characters. And uh, can anybody tell me who this character is? Can anybody tell me who she is? I mean, who it is? Anyways, on to our review. Today we are reviewing the Guyen. The Guyen was designed and built by Commander McCuve, who wanted to prove himself to Lady Cassilia, his superior, or Kishiria, depending on your translation, because he failed at Odessa, and so, obviously, the only way to prove himself as a man was to kill the Gunna. Pretty much, Makuve had the hots for Lady Cassilia, and wanted to be, you know, have his name etched into Zeon, join the ranks of, you know, the Zobby family. And so, you know, his way was to kiss up to her, things like that, send her vases, and he was kind of a girly man. But... The Guyenne is very, very cool. It looks different than most of your MSIA Xeon mobile suits. Uh, notice that it doesn't have the huge bulk to it, because the Guyenne was designed to be maneuverable. Uh, one time I made a video of the Oxal Gundam's backpack, and the Oxal Gundam's backpack can turn and twist to make it propel side to side. The Guyenne can do that too, which I didn't actually get the idea from the Guyenne. I thought I came up with it by myself, but uh, apparently I'm not the only one. <laughs> so the Guyenne has a backpack that can propel it in any direction, which can give it huge ability to maneuver and to dodge the Gundam's beam rifle. It has an extra thick uh, beam saber, which my guess would be... I don't have anything official, but my guess would be this is probably the most powerful beam saver in the entire One Year War. At least it's the thickest. And uh, that in itself is pretty cool. It's got skirt, but no boosters up there. It has a shield with missiles in it, which, you know, as cool as the Guyenne is, I, I gotta admit, that one's dumb. I mean, oh no! There's a laser coming right at me. I know, I'll block it with my shield full of missiles. Oh, what the hell happened? Oh, you know, you can't block a laser with missiles. What's wrong with you? That's just dumb. That's like strapping a, a tank with, uh, I think I'm stealing this from somebody else. Somebody else had said it, but strapping you know, explosives on a tank and calling them armor. It's just dumb. And so, you know, if, but it's cool that he can shoot mines and um, missiles out of it. So if you look at it as just a weapon, it's cool. If you think about it as a shield, not so cool, you know. So maybe if you just change our whole concept of it as a shield, it changes everything. I don't even think he uses a shield, really. But uh, this thing, like, tears through the Gundam shield when it's firing. Especially in the movie. But uh, it has really good flexibility, as you can see. Uh, the head turns 360. It's on the ball joint. The mono eye can go up, down, and around. So it's got good good view as a mobile suit. The arms are... You know, kind of double jointed a little bit. Legs go that far forward, that far back. Got good ball joints there. And overall, the Guyenne has really good flexibility. And the truth is, it would dance circles around the Zaku just because it's it's lighter. And the the thruster system would give it a huge edge in combat. You know, in space, you could go down. You could really go at any angle he wants to. And that would make a huge difference in combat. I'll, I would actually love to see the Guyenne uh, mass-produced, and it, or at least in a side story of Gundam, in animation. 
because I don't think Makuve was kind of a pansy, but as a mobile suit, the Gien is good. In fact, the Galbadi Alpha is produced as a mass production Gien, if you will. It takes the same design of the Gien, mods it a little bit for mass production, and changes the name a little. You may better know this as the Galbadi Beta, which the Titans have in 0087's Zeta Gundam. The Galbadi Beta was the Federation's captured, upgraded version of the Galbadi Alpha design, another one of Xeon's uh, numerous designs that was being constructed at the very end of the war, but never had time to be mass-produced. So, is the Guyana a good mobile suit? Yes, absolutely. Was Makuve a really great pilot? Not necessarily. Is it collection-worthy? Absolutely. Just look at that beam saber. That thing is awesome. Truth is, after looking at this mobile suit, I am seriously contemplating putting it into my Gundam stop motion animation series because I think it could put up one heck of a fight. So, uh, as always, these Gundam reviews are brought to you by Gundams R Us, your favorite arms dealer. Please check the link down below and check out our store and subscribe to our store to stay up to date with what we're getting. Uh, we are Gundam. Gundams R Us, best place to get Gundam MSIA action figures. Thanks, guys. Bye.